Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Tone Stack Pro from Yonec. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway courtesy of Yonec, please follow the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. So what is Tone Stack Pro? Well, it's a fantastic apps and effects powerhouse which works as a um, standalone application with additional features, but it works very well um, inside, uh, for example, like in this case, AUM, and therefore it is AUV free compliant. So it's incredibly rich in terms of features. It comes with 10 amps, 10 cubs for cabinets and 30 effects, but it can be expanded to 70, um, 68 cabs and over 140 effects and there is a very very nice expansion pack called uh, pot of gold which allows you access to the 280 pieces of gear which i definitely recommend it supports midi learn program changes uh, drag and drop of flow management uh, i will show you in a moment uh, um, how it works or uh, give you an introduction of how it works but it's it's really amazing so i'm going to play a number of uh, presets and uh, i have some uh, uh, recording done with uh, a clean guitar courtesy of ian from radok music and i'm going to use some of those to actually give you a flavor of what you can do with this fantastic app. So let's start with the first uh, um, sample. As you can see straight away, you have four different states where you can record your favorite presets. Up here, you have, uh, of course, uh, the selection of banks and presets with all different options to initialize, uh, save, etc., etc. If you, of course, uh, have the pot of gold expansion, you have also this access to this pro uh, version with all the different uh, um, uh, gears that I mentioned earlier on. As you select one, you can see it will it will update um, the different gears used. Okay, let's change uh, the sample. Let's try the um, second one. And uh, let's go to, uh, you can see you have banks for recent, but also banks for favorite, where you marked your favorite preset. So let's go with this basic metal. You can also see up here that it supports split of signal, which is absolutely great. So you can separate the signal, apply different gears and effects and don't merge them together. So really nice. So let's play also with another sample like so. And let's continue browsing the vast array of uh, presets. Okay, let's try the change again. Presets.
And of course, you can initialize your preset like so, and then you come out. You don't. You start from uh, fresh. You can go to the unit and then start to add some units like so. And then, of course, you can continue. So, for example, you can go to distortion and add a distortion like so. You can double click here and you zoom in. You can scroll uh, left and right, double click again to go back to the previous view. You can click and hold to actually um, go to the selection of additional gear for the category that you have chosen. Click and then you can drag and drop as well, which is really nice. <laughs> And as I mentioned here, you have so many different options, arms, cabinet, distortion, filter EQ, wire effect, modulation, pitch modulation, delay and reverb, dynamics, acoustic, rotary, bass, and under utility, you have this nice uh, um, gear that allows you to split the signal. Click and hold here to get more information. It gives you a little bit more information how it works. Okay. And you can change the different controls for uh, um, each of uh, the gears, of course, that you have selected. Now, let me show you uh, one, okay? Other functionality as well, you have things like this one where you can change the microphone distance. You, you click and hold and move up and down uh, with your mouse, or of course, if you're using touch, you can change the distance and also the offset, which is fantastic. <laughs> You can also change the type of microphone. Up here you have uh, settings, so you can decide to change the input level and also the output level, which is uh, quite good quite handy because if your uh, input is picking similar to the output you can adjust it you can uh, set your output limiting here at the moment i have it to standard then depending of course on the cpu usage you can change the processing quality and then as i mentioned at the beginning of the video you have a lot of option for midi learning cc mapping um, etc. Program changes as well, changing the UI behavior for knobs, etc. And of course, the links to the credit for Tone Stack Pro from Yonek. Here you have a fantastic tuner as well. So, so if you need to tune in your guitar and you can mute here, you can set uh, and the frequency here, the tuning as well, which 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 is great. Now, if you use the um, standalone version. You can, of course, have access here to um, a recorder with eight tracks, of course, if you uh, purchase the additional expansion pack. And you also have access to a tape deck, which is great. And of course, here you have access to the store. In this case, you can see the protocol expansion is already installed. Okay, I'm going to stop here for uh, this getting started tutorial, but I will be recording others as well. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.